What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this here is the Christian Trucker and today we're going to do a little homestead video. We have a new addition to the family. Look at there, there it is. It is a John Deere Z355R. Our first zero turn. And as you can see, that's our youngin on there and he is getting after it. He likes it. It's really, really responsive. I didn't realize just how responsive those things are with those steering handles. Man, I know that they'll turn you around, but man, as soon as you touch them, you're jerking. Left or right or whatever. I, it's it's going to be a learning experience running that zero turn, but it's a little bit wider and it's a little bit faster cutting. So hopefully it'll cut our time down as we did gain a couple yards and we're having to take care of those. Um, I'm going to take y'all on a little ride around. This is our pawpaw's house, and we've been trimming up on some bushes and around the house trying to make it a little easier to cut and take care of. Uh, those hedges and those trees, man, they will take over. If you're not on top of them, the hedges down here are awful. They grow, I mean, they can take over your field within three years if you don't stay on top of them and the wasps this year you see up there in them pictures the wasps this year have been so bad i done got bit by wasps and spiders i've only seen one snake so far this year though uh it was a little black runner black yard snake you know a little old mouse eater wasn't no danger to us but i didn't even fool with him i started to grab him and make a little video but there's a lot of people out there that are deathly afraid of them there snakes so i just i don't put them on here when i get to play with them so i didn't go out of my way but i've only seen one this year i've seen a few uh turtles but i only picked up a couple of those look right there we got pears left on the trees you know we've had a pretty good harvest this year and there's our little pond we hadn't been fishing in a little while and it ain't clean as i would like it but there's been a few sicknesses and a few deaths in the family and stuff going on that have kept us from really staying after the place like we want to, you know. And right here, you can see a few blueberries left. Our blueberries were so sweet this year, y'all. I mean, we had a good flavor in the berries this year. It's a, something a little different in the atmosphere, I reckon. Like I say, we had more wasps than we ever had this year, and the berries were great. And So far, the, the flowers are doing tremendously. That's a crepe myrtle. Look at her. Ain't she pretty? But like I say, that's my pawpaw's place there. There's some shrooms. <laughs> I don't know what kind of shrooms they are. Probably kill your graveyard dead. I don't know. I don't keep up with that kind of stuff. But we try to kill you up around his place. I, I would really like to spend more time cleaning it up. But hopefully my time's going to be up within this week or so. I might can get back on the road because I've been able to do all this yard work. Because I am stuck at home because of my truck being in the shop. And I'm going stir crazy. I mean, I love being at home and I love doing things at home. But when the business is suffering and you're at home it makes things not fun not fun the business is definitely suffering because i've been home over a month trying to get this other truck in the road so any money that i had made on the truck sale of that champ truck it's gone and we are just waiting on getting this other truck because we've had to wait on parts and the mechanic is not the quickest because he's he's by himself you know so sitting around waiting on the truck i have engaged in la manual labor every day i have made it a point to get out there every day and engage in something strenuous you know even if it's hot as it can be i'm out there and i'm trying to do something good for my body good for my mind i mean we do our paperwork and everything but you got to do stuff for your body too when you're when you're stuck around the house uh which i think we're gonna start being stuck a little bit more you ladies and gentlemen in this old world because 
that COVID's coming around again. My pa-in-law and my ma-in-law's got it. My brother and sister-in-law got it. My dad's even feeling bad. I think we're coming into another round of it. They're gonna they might even start the shutdowns again. I don't know because this this round of COVID is hitting everybody pretty dang hard. It's not something I very much appreciate because what the nurses and doctors have been saying around here is that this round is worse than the previous rounds. People are having a harder time getting over this than they did the other versions, you know, and it's just, oh, I don't want to go down that road again. So, ladies and gentlemen, when you're out there on that road, y'all, please avoid contact with people. Keep your hands clean. That's the main thing. Keep your hands clean. Don't touch your face after you've touched surfaces. And don't get up close to people. Don't hug people if you don't have to. Don't shake hands if you don't have to. Say, oh, what's up? You know, give them a high handshake you know a high hand wave or something don't don't get up in their faces and don't breathe their air because it's it's not worth getting sick because as more of us get sick the more likely they are to shut this thing down again and and it's going to get in our pocketbooks and oh i just you can't get parts you can't get services you can't get all the things that you do need that's one, another thing with my truck. When I do get my truck, I'll go ahead and tell you all this. I am going to have to have the king pins uh, attended to. The mechanic I got it at was wanting to take the whole steer axle out and send it off. But I believe I have a guy that can do it within a day, maybe two. If the guy that has it would have done it, it was going to cost me in the thousands. <laughs> I'm not cutting a corner. I'm just getting a second opinion. From a guy that has done work on a friend of mine's truck. And I think that that guy will tell me the right way. If he tells me it needs all that stuff, look, I've got a shop ready that can do it within three days. I'll take it out and re-sleeve it and rebuild, put it back in there and guarantee the work. But if this guy says that the bushings and all will work without re-sleeving it and rebuilding it, that's what we're going to do. I mean... The fellow that has it now says I can run it like it is for a while, but it's going to end up giving us trouble. It's one of those decisions that you have to make. Look, there's the old Schneider tractor. We got a good bush hog on it. Been Paul and Law's been doing a lot of bush hogging with it. And now, see, I'm riding our old John Deere steering wheel tractor, and that's the first one over there by the ladder. That's the first one I bought. And then there's our new one that I bought right there. So, I appreciate it. God bless. We'll catch you on the next ride.